Thank you, Senator O'Reilly. Uh, Senator Neil O'Donnell. Carly, uh, leader, thank you. Uh, and just a quick point in relation to uh, Senator O'Reilly's uh, contribution. The Milk Bank in the North actually had a segment on the news lately. Uh, they've been impacted by the COVID uh, restrictions and they're looking for donations. Uh, so they're encouraging mothers who can uh, contribute because uh, obviously the importance uh, of this service is that they provide uh, sometimes for very ill and very vulnerable babies in hospitals. So I just thought, given that you mentioned it, I would maybe take the opportunity to reinforce uh, that call uh, that, that they made. Um, leader, like others, I want to just echo in the uh, sentiments of congratulations for President-elect uh, Biden and indeed uh, Vice President-elect uh, Harris uh, as well. Um, as, as we all know and has been said uh, here over the course of the last number of days, President-elect uh, Biden has very deep-rooted uh, connections to the Ireland. He's, he's a proud uh, Irish American. Uh, he has been and will continue to be, no doubt, a steadfast friend to Ireland, and at this point in time, uh, we need our friends. And while I do appreciate and understand fully that people here uh, want to try uh, to investigate as much as they can and lay claim, dare I say it, to his geographical lineage uh, so they could maybe get him for a visit. Um, but I think at this point in time, we have more important asks of President-elect Biden uh, and the US uh, administration. And I think it's really important that um, we take the opportunities provided to us to re-articulate uh, some uh, of those uh, asks and all of us. Uh, will have the opportunity uh, to speak uh, to friends uh, in the United States uh, over the coming days and weeks. And I think it's really important that we reinforce the message uh, of solidarity uh, that's required uh, for Ireland in these very uh, tempestuous days uh, that remain uh, between now and the end uh, of the transition uh, period. So our, our priority uh, here like, has to be to, uh, to continue to encourage the new administration to stand firm on their very clear commitments uh, and their very welcome commitments uh, made, uh, to protect, defend and uphold the Good Friday Agreement. And I hope too that the new administration will also ring in a new era for American foreign policy more generally one that uh, puts solidarity and justice to the fore and indeed rolls back on some of the disastrous and awful cruel policies taken uh, by the current president, not least in relation to refugees, Palestine, Cuba and many other uh, issues as well. In finishing, uh, Cahir, like, I just want to note the very significant announcement uh, yesterday in relation <coughs> to a potential uh, COVID uh, vaccine. Uh, we, were, we are advised um, that it is cause for hope, not yet uh, celebration, but it's important in these days that we have and that we sustain hope uh, and why we will have an opportunity to discuss the COVID level five uh, restrictions uh, in this house. Uh, I think it's important that we hear and understand from government too any plans that they have in place thus far to roll out any safe uh, and medically compliant vaccine that gets to those most vulnerable and those most in need in a quick, efficient and free way. Thank you, Senator. Senator Black.